Hello everyone, and it's the end of the week, and as promised, I'm going to do, or try and do, an in-depth deck de construction video each week. Hopefully explaining uh, one of the decks you see during the week uh, in depth, and I will hopefully share it and give you the, everybody the deck code so they can use it the themselves. Uh, as I said during the week, I'm going to do the I Am A Standard Bush deck, which is a reprisal of the I Am Bush deck which hopefully you've seen the old construction video and it's brought it up to date and uh, useful for standard cards today. Now, the basic concept is still the same. It's a hunter, it's full of secrets, um, but there are a hell of a lot more secrets to use now and we've got a lot of those uh, in. We've still got explosive trap, we've still got freezing trap, uh, we've still got snake trap, snipe, uh, but what we don't have is we don't have bear trap anymore. Uh, we don't really feel that we need uh, so much, so many taunts, uh, because we have so much control. The new secrets that we have are wandering monster. Now this it works as a very good taunt uh, if we're attacked. Uh, Venom strike tap uh, trap, which again this is good if there's any big enemies and you've got lots of minions out on the field. Um, we've also got uh, Hunting Mastiffs uh, as a new minion. This is very good if uh, Unleash the Hounds doesn't really come up or the enemy doesn't have many minions because it's a two cost uh, card which is very small and it's got Echo and Rush so you can take down uh, things very quickly and combined with Scavenging Hyena it still sets it off so you can put down Scavenging Hyena and make a very powerful minion very quickly. Uh, which again also works very well with Knife Juggler because uh, you'll keep summoning Hunting Mastiffs and it will keep doing the one damage to a random enemy. We don't have Arcane Shot anymore mainly because we have so much control we don't really need something to take out the big enemies that the, 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 the opponent might put down. Uh, instead we've got much more control and we can always use our eagle horn bow in order to take down anything that we uh, reduce to a, a, a one health. Uh, this is the big change. This is Professor Putricide. Now in a hunter secret deck he is amazing. Basically for every secret that you put down and you've got a lot of them he's going to put another secret in the battle for you. Uh, he's only forecast so if you can get him out as quickly as possible uh, then really you're going to have full control of the battlefield as it progresses. Uh, because he's so good it's why we've got a faceless manipulator. We've only got the one because we only really uh, need the one. Uh, once we've got two Professor Putricides uh, on the battlefield we're going to be putting three secrets out each, each time we play a secret. And we can only have five in one turn so it doesn't really make sense to sort of make more than two Professor Putricides. Uh, we also have the Lesser Emerald Spellstone. Again, only one because it's just something to keep as a backup should the enemy put out anything that is really big. Um, the upgrade uh, to the Spellstone is that it summons three, three, three wolves. And that gives you a good uh, load of minions to put out and they also uh, work in conjunction with Scavenging Hyena. Um, we have tracking. This is hopefully so that we can find Professor Putricide as fast as we can at the beginning of the match and uh, get him out as soon as possible. It doesn't always get him out but hopefully once we've used it there's a, a higher chance of him turning up. Overall this really has a lot of control. The only trap that we or the only new trap that we don't really have is Rat Trap. Um, and this is a, a trap which uh, brings a 6-6 six, six rat if your opponent plays three or more cards in one turn. Now, the reason I haven't put it in is because at, in most circumstances, most players aren't going to be playing more than three cards uh, until turn six anyway, uh, by which time you could have uh, a lot more traps out on the field and really it makes room for having other things which are a bit more useful like 
the, we can still have the secret keepers and with the number of traps uh, that are being uh, put out she's going to get very powerful very quickly very early on and that's really all there is uh, to update it it's still the same old uh, um, hunter secret as the I ambush was um, we have lost the uh, uh, web spinners which is a bit of a shame because again they contributed very well to uh, scavenging hyena also they had the chance if we were really lucky of summoning King Crush uh, uh, we've also got stitch trackers here uh, and these are very good because they'll discover a minion a copy of a minion uh, that you've got in your deck um, as we don't have too many minions there's a high chance that they'll summon another Professor Putricide again another way of getting them out really early well that's the in-depth construction video everyone uh, I hope you've all uh, you've enjoyed it I will put the deck code in the comments below and good luck if you want to try this deck out uh, please try and keep it called I am a standard bush because I'd like to uh, if you show anybody I hope that they know that it's come from me but have fun with everybody and keep having fun with hearthstone all you hearthstoners out there